Hello class, I am your mystery reader, but I am hiding my face now because I want you to guess who I am. So here are my first clues. I have black hair and I'm a teacher at another school. And this little girl is my daughter. Can you guess who I am? I am Ellie's mom and hello. I'm so happy to be your guest reader today, your mystery reader. So this is the book called Molly the Muffin Fairy that Ellie and I love reading all the time. I think we read this about four to five times a week. Molly the Muffin Fairy was famous in fairyland for making perfect muffins. See your muffins? Each one was baked until it was spongy, golden, soft, and sweet. Her wand over here put in big blueberries to make the treat complete. Yum! The blueberries came in boxes delivered by Mel and Carrie. They were her two best friends who drove a truck shaped like a giant berry. Yum! But then one day when baking, Molly's temper began to fray. Look at her face. Her muffins had no softness. She was having a bad bake day. Oh no, she looks so sad. Her baking got no better and soon Molly's fairy home was full of yucky, rubbery, hard muffins with tops as hard as stones. Oh no. And you know what class? Look at this page over here. Ellie and I don't know what happened to this page. Somebody tore it out. It's missing. I'm not sure, but we're gonna go to the next page. She grabbed a tray of muffins and threw them to the floor, then took a muffin in her hand and hurled it out the door. The muffins hit her trampoline and bounced up in the air. Whoa, and the strangest scene there's ever been followed on from there. Wow, look at that muffin go. It bounced and it bumped and it pinged and it ponged, flying to and fro, startling and scaring a squirrel who scampered and woke up a porcupine below. See him down there? Up with the start, the porcupine ran to find a safe place, but guess what he did? He poked the edges of Molly's pool, his spikes making holes in the side. Uh-oh. Water gushed from the holes, flooding the road all around. Then Mel and Carrie's truck arrived, but how would they cross the wet ground? Oh no, what are they gonna do? It's a mess, said Molly. Oh, stop whining. Those muffins of yours can help us. Every cloud has a silver lining. So what do you think they're going to do? Hmm. Maybe they could make a path, just try and see. So Molly laid muffins down and the trucks crossed easily. Then before the fairy's eyes, the muffin began to expand. Soaking up the water, they became the biggest in fairyland. Whoa, look how big they are now. They're bigger than they are. Don't eat them though, they're not clean, yuck. But squashed together, I think they'll make, what do you think they're gonna make? The best ever trampoline. So Molly learned that when things look bad, you can always find a way to see things from the sunny side and turn around your day. So I hope everybody enjoyed Molly the Muffin Fairy. And I hope that everyone's having a good day. So I want to say goodbye to Ellie. I love you, Ellie. I'll see you in a little bit. Have a good day.